Hey fellow colleagues, I'm getting a lot of requests uh, to explain the difference for uh, communication service providers using a standard UICC SIM technology compared to EUICC slash eSIM technology together with underlying remote SIM provisioning capability. First of all, think about the legacy network operators in any given country, often also so-called the tier 1 MNO. In countries like in Germany, it would be Vodafone, O2 or Telekom Germany. These are so-called legacy network operators because they have been in the first place launching the underlying network patrimony with the granted frequency licenses from their governments. Unless there are national roaming agreements in the place in that particular country between those two different legacy network operators, the connectivity itself is a strictly limited for each individual network operators, uh, network capacity and the coverage. In other words, if you have a SIM card from Vodafone Germany, it will only work with a Vodafone Germany network. Secondly, we have so-called mobile virtual network operators, also called MVNOs. Those operators are having a contract in the place with the legacy network operators to resell their connectivity. And they are called virtual because they don't own the underlying network patrimony. Thirdly, we have so-called aggregators, brokers, including technology companies, providing your connectivity profiles with or without the physical SIM cards. Very often, those connectivity providers, they have an agreement in the place with the both legacy network operators and the virtual network operators. So, back to the initial question. In short, if your communication service provider from whom you are buying your SIM card with data connectivity is not offering you a service allowing you to switch to another connectivity provider while keeping the initially bought SIM cards. You are using so-called locked standard SIM technology. But if your communication service provider is offering you a service allowing you to switch to another legacy or virtual network operator without changing the initial purchase SIM card, you are indeed offered with so-called EUICC slash eSIM service. If so, the biggest question still remains for you to raise. Note carefully these upcoming 23 words. Should I want to switch to another connectivity provider today? Which connectivity provider I can switch to and how much it will cost. If you can't switch today, you are locked by technology and the lack of service. Or if the switching costs you unreasonably, you are locked by commercial feasibility. I hope my today's video brought you some value and if so, do like it or consider to subscribe to my channel. Below in the description block, there is a lot of additional information for you to check. And as always, as always, keep safe. See you soon.